Imagine if somebody is on furosemide or any form of diuretic, right? Mostly loop diuretics. Where does the diuretic work? It works on your loop of Henle, right? So if this is your Bowman space, this is your proximal, thin descending, thin ascending and thick ascending, right? You have your channel here which reabsorbs sodium, potassium and 2 chloride, right? This tubule, this area is where you reabsorb sodium, potassium and 2 chloride. Your loop diuretic typically blocks this, right? So if somebody's on a diuretic, is a diuretic going to allow you to reabsorb sodium? No. So is it going to force you to pee sodium in the urine? Yes, it is. So can you use sodium as a marker in the urine that you collect? You cannot. You see? So if somebody is on a diuretic, it's not just loop diuretics, even thiazide diuretics or most diuretics when they work, they typically are going to block your sodium channels. It's going to impact your sodium reabsorption. So your sodium is falsely going to be high in the urine. So can you use sodium as a marker? You cannot.